Perfect. Scotland. Uh, we're going to be going on a forest holiday trip, basically staying in a cabin in a forest on a lake. Oh, it's going to Scotland, so I guess it's a, a lock. Um, this one's in Strathshire, Stra 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 Peggy? Stratshire. I don't know, Stratshire? Stratshire. Anyhow, anyone from Scotland can work that one out. Uh, Stratshire. Stra Stra um, yeah. Um, We'll, we'll get the right name later on, don't worry. Uh, our cabin, if you're familiar with Forest Holidays, is a silver birch. Is it a silver birch, Peggy? Silver, silver cabin. Silver cabin. I seem to remember birch being in the title. But anyhow, it's got a hot tub, underfloor heating. We'll go through it all later on. But, um, nice kitchen, open plan living. Uh, this one has two bedrooms, one double and one with two singles. Oh, it's a lot of traffic. So we come in from basically north of London. It's quite a long trip, planning on eight, a bit more hours. Traffic's been really good so far. It's uh, coming up nine o'clock now, so it's getting a lot heavier. So we're planning on stopping every couple of hours. But uh, definitely worth the trip. And it's basically where we're going, Strasher. Oh, I think that was quite close. It's <laughs> north of Stirling, so if you're familiar with that part of Scotland, it's the narrow part between Glasgow and Edinburgh. We're heading up the A1M and then we come out the Glasgow area. We normally fill up and get loads of food about half an hour before we get there. And we'll go for all of that later on. Cool. Let the adventure start.
So this is our cabin for the next uh, few days, a long weekend. They're all different, some of the entrances are near the front, this one's at the back. Comes with a hot tub, barbecue area, you have to buy the barbecue separately. And uh, the slushy snow and rain is included in Scotland. So sit inside. This one's a lot different to the ones we're used to in Norfolk and uh, also further down in Scotland. This one's got two floors. So they all come with a kitchen. As you can see here, yeah, it's quite well equipped. Oven, microwave, kettle, coffee machine. Let's have a look around. Let's see what we got. This one's a disabled one, so it's a disabled toilet. Downstairs, kitchen area. Double bed, mattress looks a little funky in this one. And this one's got a staircase going upstairs. Uh, two singles, here's the lights. Okay. Pretty nice one, sweet. And I believe it's got a shower in it, yep. Shower over there. Cool. So it's a lot different to the ones we've had before. Still open plan living. The other ones we've been to, it's all been on one floor.
so it's our so it's our second day here at uh, Forest Holidays in Strathshire. Straf and uh, as you can see, the weather's not totally cooperating, but I guess you come end of February, what would you expect? I think last time we came down, it was snowstorms and uh, pretty cold, but I actually quite enjoy it. it. Makes it a little different. It's definitely different to Florida. A little cooler. And anyone that's been to Scotland will know you get literally all four three well three seasons in a day so today was snowing a little bit in the morning then rain windy sun did come out for about half an hour it's uh, been mainly rainy and windy today we're just going to go for a little walk now uh, a little walk now down this lane by the cabins where we are we went for a drive earlier on saw some gorgeous valleys and uh locks locks yeah well lakes uh but uh, not many opportunities to pull over and go for a walk but there obviously are but so uh, we didn't fancy it too much it was it was really heavy rain Strasha Forest Holidays. It's just uh, north of Stirling, about 35 minutes north of Stirling. I'm going to go. This is one of the older, probably one of the first forest holidays. So it's in a national park up in Scotland. This one. Uh, the other ones we stayed at in Norfolk and Argyll. I, I would imagine they're a lot newer because they're, for example, under floor heating. The heating in hit in this one is not particularly good. It's got two floors and the heat rises obviously. So the room up the bedroom upstairs gets very hot. And there's some other little things that aren't perfect. And I'd imagine with time they've changed the design, which makes sense. For example, as you enter in R1, it's open plan living, which is great, and all the others are as well. But you walk straight into the living room kitchen area there's nowhere to put your shoes out of the way you're basically putting them in the living room nowhere to hang your coats so you are bringing the wet and the mud in from outside although we've done our best to avoid that um, it's just part of going to one of these retreats because it is a forest holiday you're in the forests or in this case you buy a lock and you're in the forest so you're going to be walking a lot so but they've obviously learned the lesson and the other ones, the newer ones, are very well set out. As my wife will show you in about a month, she's going to go, be going to the one in Norfolk, so it's a really nice setup. So we're going to go for a family walk later on. As you might have seen earlier on in the other video yesterday, very windy, very rainy, and the little, and actually she loved the puddles. But uh, it's just too much for them to expect to walk in heavy wind and rain so we've been driving around a lot got some cool footage on the uh, GoPro as you've probably seen so this is where we are now <laughs> 